It's time for the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not for August 13th, 2024. What's up, sports fans? It's your favorite Monday morning quarterback, Scott Branson, here with the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. Now, buckle up, because we've got a wild ride of stories that will make you laugh, cry, and maybe throw your remote at the TV. Let's hit it. First up, the AP 25 is out, and Georgia has once again claimed the throne, leaving Ohio State eating their dust. Well, um, almost. I mean, the Buckeyes snagged 15 first place votes, which is like saying, yeah, you're good, but not as good as we think other teams are. And hey, Alabama fans, don't get your houndstooth hats in a twist. Your beloved Tide are starting the season at their lowest rank since 2009. But remember, the last time this happened, they went undefeated and won it all. So who knows? Maybe it's time for DeBoer to start his Saban impersonation. Just don't start calling him Nick Jr. yet. Speaking of folks who wish they could rewrite history, Aaron Rodgers. The Jets QB says he regrets using the term, quote, immunized back in 2021 when we were all just trying to get through the pandemic and maybe find some toilet paper. But hey, here's the kicker. Rodgers also says he would have refused any NFL vaccine mandate anyway. So basically he's sorry, but not really. Can't wait to see how this plays out in his unauthorized biography. Maybe we'll learn his next move is to become the NFL's official philosopher. I think, therefore, I pass. And in other Jets news, yep, they're all over the news today. Oh, the drama. Hassan Reddick, the star pass rusher they just traded for four months ago, wants out already. Reddick's been holding out, wanting a pay raise. And the Jets are like, nah, you're staying right here, buddy. So Reddick, who led the Eagles in sacks, is now leading the Jets in awkward silences. The Jets are playing hardball, fining him for not showing up. Stay tuned, folks. This is just the kind of soap opera we needed to distract us from another disappointing Jets season. Finally, let's talk about the WNBA, where things are heating up off the court. Erica Hamby, an all-star powerhouse, is suing the league and her former team, the Las Vegas Aces, for discrimination and retaliation after she got pregnant. The Aces traded her to the Sparks, and Hamby's like, uh, excuse me, pregnancy isn't a trade clause. The WNBA slapped the Aces with a tiny penalty, but Hamby isn't backing down. She's suing, and she's right. Pregnancy should be celebrated, not punished. Hamby's taking on the league with more fire than she shows on the court, and I'm here for it. And that's your daily sports rush for today. Make sure to check out more on these stories up at sportsnot.com. Catch you tomorrow for more sports insanity. Remember, folks, never trust a preseason poll and always keep your eye on the ball and your quarterback's philosophical views. Take care.